Vince with ShamWow. the wires for our solar panels. Uh, we're actually going to be installing the solar on the next trip to the boat, but we're going to go ahead and kind of start getting things set up. So we've got to run the wires and we got to do some framing for uh, two of the panels uh, for to give them something to mount to. So uh, that's basically what we're going to be focusing on today. Right, darling? Correct. Right, Minnie darling? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so to run the wires from outside the boat to inside the boat, we're using these little fellas. These are called cable clams by Blue Sea. So you got to drill holes in this little rubber section in the middle, and then run the wires through those holes, and then when you put it all together, it kind of compresses it and creates that watertight seal. So we've got to drill the holes in these fellas. The holes are drilled! <laughs> you know you look like... <laughs> it's got to look like Goofy or something, no, right? You or Bart like... Simpson. No, you look... <laughs> yeah, or you look like the guy on Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that... Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> doing the exact same thing to the other side. Right you are, Ken. So we are not going to record the whole process again. Right you are, Ken. But just so you know, we are doing the same thing. Right you are, Ken. Why are you calling her Ken? Nobody's gonna get that. You ready, Molly? Yep. All right, let's run some wires. Both of them? Yep, both of them. Both, both sets of wires are going up through there. Yep, yep. And then mommy is pulling through on the other side. Is that it? That's one set. You got another one coming your way. Molly's working out a bit of a tangle, I think, or I'm not sure exactly what she's doing. All right. Got him. Got him. All right, cool. How far is that going to go? Is that going to go all the way to the engine room or not quite? Not quite. Not quite? All right. That, that's okay. We'll work with that. Great job, Molly. Thank you. All right. The electrician is on duty. Oh, look at that concentration. Yes. Yeah, squeeze it. Squeeze the water temperature. Hmm. 
what? It looks pretty good to me. Oh. Tambi is connecting our solar wires together. Installing some of these, uh, I believe they're called MC4 fittings. Isn't that right, Tambi? Got it? Yep. Hey. You go, girl. Yeah. <laughs> what you doing there, Benjamin? So we are replacing the cover that went over our engine control panel. There was a wooden one here that was just in really bad shape and kind of a dumb design to begin with. So we have built uh, a new and improved version, and we're going to be installing that baby. All right, so this is an engine cover panel that I made at home, and it's made using some plastic, like, planking material that's often used on docks, and then a piece of uh, plexiglass and stainless steel hardware. Yeah, so I'm hoping it's going to fit. Obviously, there's challenges involved when I have to take these I have to take these projects home with me and do things remotely and then come to the boat and just hope that it fits, but uh, I'm actually pretty good at it, so it might just go on the way I hope it will. What do you think, Molly? Is it going to work? Hope so. Hope so? What's your confidence level? On a scale of 1 to 10. 8. Eight. Hmm. Okay. Ta -da. Uh, I left some space down here. Actually, um, extended this by an inch or two, maybe two inches, because I'm going to put a temperature gauge. And, uh, I don't know, a couple other things down here beneath it, so I needed a little bit more room. But yeah, it looks pretty fantastic, right? Here, give it a, give it a demonstration there, Tampi. Uh-huh, oh, oh, da -da. Click, just like that. You like it? Yeah, it looks great. No. You did a good job. Oh, thanks, honey. It's get, not a shin knocker anymore. Yep, got rid of the shin knocker. Upgrade! We are working on our solar panel setup this morning. Uh, what we're doing is we are basically building a strut for the solar panel to sit on. See how we did. I'll hold this. You put your your end in up there. Oh, that went in easy. Okie dokie. We have one pole installed over there. There we go. Uh -huh. There we go, Molly. There's a flathead screwdriver. That's not flathead. What is it? Phillips. Oh, nice job. You passed the trick question test. <laughs> That wasn't really a question, that was more of a trick statement. But you caught it! Yo. <laughs> Is it too tight? <laughs> a little, there we go. Alright, ready? Alright, now we're ready. Alright, go ahead, Tamby. Alright, Tamby's in. That's looking a lot better. There you go. Look. Great job, ladies! Thank you! Whoa. <laughs> oh, Molly, the world is about to find out how weird you actually are, aren't they? Can you say that one more time? No. Do it! I already did! No, what'd you say? <laughs> Thank 
you. No, but how did you say it? You said it in a particular way. Thank you. No. <laughs> Let's see, Molly knocked her knee. Look at that. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to poke it so hard. <laughs> I was looking through the camera screen. Molly has a big old knot on her knee right there. She knocked it on the wind, the uh, winch on the other side. Sandley doesn't have to step down, so yeah. I used to step down and I went whop. And now I'm going to uh, work on improving our battery bank a little bit. When I installed these batteries, it was just kind of a, maybe let's just call it a soft installation. Uh, but I need to put some fuses on there. I'm actually going to set things up with uh, bus bars so that no, so that the batteries are charged evenly and discharged evenly. Uh, and down the road a bit, we're probably going to add three more batteries here, but I can't wire any more than three in parallel. So we're probably going to do two separate banks that are separated by one of these selector switches. So if one battery gets low, I mean one bank gets low, then we could just you know, flip the selector switch, and that's the sound it makes. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, doing some improvements to the battery bank. How does it feel? All right, this is the new wiring setup for now at least. I have uh, one positive bus bar over here, a negative bus bar on the other side. The positives are over here, the negatives are over there. Uh, the feed going back to the boat is this way. That's the main ground. And I also have 125 amp breakers there, 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 and another breaker here that goes to the boat. So things are, you know, um, should be safer. I mean, the thing is, you know, I mean, the fuses are kind of one of those things that's necessary for things to be safe, but at the same time, the more gadgetry you have going on, you know, the more little pieces there are that could come loose or possibly cause problems. So you just have to kind of find that, that middle ground of, uh, you know, safety and simplicity. And in my mind, I think we've kind of hit that mark here. We are going to be adding onto this system somewhat with uh, solar charge controllers and such as that. They're going to be mounted inside this cabinet. And we're going to do some venting with some fans. Um, but yeah, I think this is pretty much it. We've got this this wire right here, and that one is to the windlass. Let's see, Tammy's up there. I think she's about to test it out now. No? What? Not working? No. Oh, hang on, me. Let's see. If, did we turn the breaker off? There's the windless breaker and on. See if that makes a difference. Yes. Works. All right. All right. Woohoo. All right. Everything works. The boat's hooked back up. We got power to the boat. Cool. Project complete for now. Hope you enjoyed that one, folks. Now, as you can see, we are rocking our undead t shirts. Now, the, uh, the tunes that you heard at the very beginning of this video came from a band called The Undead. And that is Bobby and Diana Steele. Those have been some long time, uh, you know, viewers of ours. So they hooked us up with some shirts, hooked us up with some tunes. So yeah, we hope you enjoyed that. And now we have one new patron we want to thank. And who is that lady? Charles. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Charles, for becoming a new patron. This is actually just uh, a random gift from Joe. You want to read that, Tammy? It says, instead of disposable zip blocks, try these. Thank you so much, Joe. Yes, this is going to be going to be really handy. Any idea what that is, folks? This is actually a deck molding uh, sheet. It's some kind of a silicone or something that can be used to actually recreate the non-skid surface on our deck. So this is from Warren. Yeah, thank you so much for sending this, Warren. We really appreciate it. All right. Molly, what do you want to say? <laughs> Put her on the spot. All right, you want to just wrap it up for us then? Sure. All right, go for it. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we'll see you next time. That's right. See you next time, folks. Bye. Bye.